Not gonna work. Ah! Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're using the ultimate healing hanger. We have five healing robots plus the healing titan Nodens. We got the Wayland, the Sheriff Demeter, Nightingale, Mender, and the Tear. We're here first on Shenzhen and let's use the Tear. We have all different builds. Some of these robots have pilot skills, some of them don't. I ran out of gold so, you know, couldn't load up all the pilot skills. But a bunch of different builds here, and let's see what we can do. I've done the healing hanger before, but I haven't done it with the Demeter, and there's constantly new robots in the game, so let's see how this works out. Okay, so we do have... We're locking this guy down here. I think it's a Raven. And he had the Magnetar and the Atomizer here. He's a pretty decent build here. We lock him. There we lock him down again. Boom. Alright, we got the kill. And notice, I don't know if you guys notice this in Champion League, but there's a lot of shell bots these days. It seems like everyone starts with their shell bot to push beacons right away. And they're pretty tough to take out. Uh oh, this invader. This guy's gonna be an issue. Oh, this tier. You do have that little physical shield on the tier. When I have all my weapons going, I'm trying to heal up. Oh, it's not going to work. Ah! The shield is just way too bad. That tier definitely needs a buff. I should have been able to take out that invader. This... Okay, this teammate Natasha is just camping there. I'm not going to heal him because I think he needs to die. <laughs> he needs to get a brawling weapon. No, don't... Don't teleport! This scorpion teleported me. I, I was shooting at him because I was going to heal him. And now he's going to die. Oh, we came back. Now he knows. Now he understands. Alright, let's heal him up. Let's heal you up, man. I don't have pilot skills on this mender. So let's see how this works. I feel like the mender could even use... If they shorten the cooldown again, I think it could actually become viable. Because then the healing could just be a constant, like, defense. Okay, uh, we gotta approach this carefully. Okay, we're using our healing first. Let's take out that invader. Boom. Okay, last stand trigger on the leech. Yeah. Okay, that Ravana just dropped in. Okay, we're gonna use our phase shift. Let's see if we take these guys out. Okay, our last stand is going, so I'm not gonna use my healing just yet. Now, healing. Boom! Perfect execution. I Between my phase shift, my last stand, and my healing, we used them at the right time, and we pulled through. And my teammate survived, too. Alright, what is this guy? It looks like Tolumbus, maybe? What is it, a Spectre Tolumbus, maybe? I don't know. Oh, he's looking at us. Oh, I hit the healing a little bit fast. Uh-oh. Okay, we got that Hawk last stand triggered. Oh, he's lagging. He's lagging hard. Okay, phase shift, phase shift. The lag might have helped us out, though. Boom! Perfect. His reflectors are off, so we can hit him there. And that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Alright, now we're just kind of trying to get a little bit of damage. Ooh, they're dropping their titans. It's really early in the game to drop in titans. I guess they figured because we're in their spawn, they want to drop in their titans and try to clear us out, but... Six and a half minutes to go. Man, look at her health. 2,000 health. I think we can take this guy out. We can do it. Boom! Man, this mender is cleaning up. This is so far... The best healing mod. So far. It's better than the tier. Alright, let's drop in here. Um, yeah, let's drop in our Wayland. Oh, do we have another teammate Wayland here? Okay, this is going to work well, I think. Let's both... Double Wayland healing is pretty intense. He is Tempest, which aren't great, but I have uh, Redeemer. And this actually isn't a Mark II Wayland. This is only a level 12. 
Most of the time I have R2, but I think I ran out of resources when upgrading it. Man, I want to... This Arthur is in a pretty good spot here. He has his own shield, plus two Waylands healing him. I wish someone would shoot at us right now, just so we can see how good this healing is. Somebody shoot! Somebody do it. I guess it makes more sense for me to go over here and try to stretch out the healing circle. So then there's like a bigger healing zone. There we go. I'm still inside that Wayland and he's inside mine, but then there's more. Okay, uh. Uh oh. Hawk. Okay, we captured the center beacon. The beacon bar is favoring the enemy team right now. Uh oh. I'm Minos trying to take that beacon. I think he sees us now. We have a teammate up top, but not sure what robot he is. And super healing. He's pushing us out of the way. Man, I'm still getting shot at. But look at the healing. The healing is super legit. I gotta ditch this robot though. We're getting they're getting four beacons right now. They're gonna win this game if we don't do something. What is this? I was hoping it wasn't a Titan, but we can do it. Let's take out this guy. Jeez, I think we can do it. Boom! Alright, perfect. Oh no. Alright, we gotta go back. We gotta capture this beacon. And maybe heal up this Arthur as well. Okay, look at the beacon bar. They definitely have a lead on the beacon bar. This we don't have any speed bots really left. But this Demeter does have pretty decent speed. This one is loaded up with pilot skills. Okay, um. Boom, okay, we captured the beacon. We're still down big on the beacon bar. Four on four right now. Come on. Boom, alright, that hawk is out of there. Let's heal up our friendly. I think we might be able to do this. We just got our fourth beacon. We gotta keep pushing though. What is this, a Fenrir, a Typhon? That's a Typhon, ooh. Okay, he did hit us, but he can't really stay up out in the open and shoot at us right now. All right, let's uh, keep pushing. Let's keep going. Three on three right now. I think we definitely have an edge because we have a full health titan. Oh, four on three right now. All right. I think we're going to be able to do it. Let's. I think we're going to beacons. Let's just go after this typhon. Yes, we use our shield right in time so that typhon charge hit our shield and didn't actually hit us. All right, we got the win. That was a pretty good game. We pretty much used all of our robots there, except the Nightingale and the Nodens, but I use the Nodens a lot, usually. 3.9 million damage, six beacons. That is impressive. Jeez, those were some big scores there. And that was with the all-healing hangar. All right, guys, now I'll show you guys the first part of this game, because I didn't show you guys the Nightingale, so let's show you this. We have the Flamethrower build here on the Nightingale. And to be honest, the Nightingale is a lot worse since it got nerfed. And the nerf I'm talking about is where it can't get beacons while in the sky flying anymore. That was like the big reason to use the Nightingale because you can just sit up top in stealth and get a beacon. And I'm glad they nerfed it, but it made the Nightingale a lot weaker. A lot less people use it now. And I'm not really sure if it's worth using anymore. I think like the best healing option is definitely the Demeter. And the Nodens, of course, but it's Titan. Um, yeah, the Nightingale and the Tear 
they could use some help. The Wayland as well, but I don't even know what they could do to the Wayland. Just because it's so... It's bulky and slow. And we're getting torched up here. Or hit. Can we get this beacon at least? Uh, no, we didn't. But surprisingly, of these games, the most surprising build was the Mender. I did not think the Mender was going to do as well in that first game. And yeah, here's the tier again. It's like the tier just... I don't even know. The healing position, does, it doesn't even make sense because when you switch back, you have that healing burst. But the healing burst is kind of pointless if then you can't heal while all your weapons are up. I don't know, I think they should make it so that you can heal enemies all the time, whether your weapons are up or down. Um, but here, let's run the Mender and then show you guys. So this Mender doesn't have any pilot skills on it, so it's not very upgraded. It's a Mark II level 12, but there we go. And remember, they added that extra pulse or two, or they added the extra pulses to the Mender healing. So now it heals more for longer, which is very useful. Decent firepower, and that guy just flew off the ship. Decent firepower, decent HP, not a ton, but the healing is really its strength. Whether you're in a group or a one-on-one. -on -one. Because a lot of robots, healing robots, they aren't great in one-on-one -on -one and group situations. Like the Wayland healing is only really good in a group. The Nightingale, only good in a group. Because you can't even fire weapons while healing. The Mender is in between, which is good. Oh, we got suppressed here. Let's back down. Okay, let's hit our healing up. See, this Hawk is just full-blown shooting on us, and he can't even take us down. Alright, you know what, let's move in. I think we can take down this Hawk. He's trying to camp away from us. Boom, there we go. And that is the Mender, pretty much. So, definitely a top robot in the game right now. No, sorry, not a top robot, a top healing robot in the game. I don't think it's a top robot yet in the game. It would need more buffs. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time. I saw you standing